go in and evaluate. Uh, disappointed how we started putting the ball on the ground, and we were nervous at the quarterback position. You could see that, and that's good. Let's get that nervousness out of us. And then after that, I thought they all came in, and, and when we had to move the ball, we had consecutive touchdowns back to back to back. So I, I thought there were some real good things. Disappointed in us in the red zone down here, uh, but we haven't worked a lot of red zone, and that's me as a coach. I got to put in a package that they understand and can execute better. So we got to work on that. I thought our substitutions and people coming in and out and the speed of the game was okay. Uh, our fast tempo plays were terrible. Uh, we missed on the snap a couple times, and we got to we got to catch them on that tempo. So we got to we got to get better there. But overall, excited to go watch the film. It's never highs or lows until you watch the film, and then we'll see from there. How hard was it to not have a lot of your you know, starters out there today, Storm or Victor and, and those guys? You know, you, you don't have 13 out there. You don't have 6 out there. You don't have Storm out there. You don't have Isaac out there. But the thing about this game, it's the next guy up. And I'm glad. I'm glad that some of these guys stepped up and they need to play, and they need to play in this atmosphere. So it's better off for us as a team right now. As a coach, you don't sleep very well, but they'll come back. And uh, But we needed the young guys to play more. I know you want to evaluate the, the quarterbacks and such, but kind of bigger picture, what, is, what did Marcus do, whether it was during the summer or during those early practices, to put himself in the position that he's in you right know, now? He, he studied hard. He, he knew the execution was going to be important. Mm -hmm. Now He came out in that first series and didn't do something that was usual for him, and he was nervous about it with his opportunities, but he's still in the picture. He's done a great job, so it's about executing, and that's what the quarterback making people around you better, uh, and that's what he was trying to do. What about Ryan Nall? What do you like from him? You know, we've moved Ryan around a lot. Uh, and two days ago, we said, Ryan, you got to be a running back for us. And he jumped in, and uh, he's a 250-pound running back coming at you, and he's got really good hands to go with it. Uh, he's going to give us a lot of depth. And teams in the substitution personnel, is he playing tight end? Is he playing running back? Do they have three tight ends? Do they have, you know, he's going to help us. So I'm excited about his progress. Do you want him to cut down a little weight now? No, nope. no. Okay. Be 250 and run over people. What about Paul Lucas? Paul showed some things at the end. We didn't get him enough. Uh, you know, he, he was hurt. Uh, I didn't know he was going to scrimmage, and he played through it. So I'm really excited how a young kid, you know, had a tight back and said, I want to play, and that was good to, good for Paul. How has Brent Vanderveen uh, come along? Two touchdowns today. It looks obviously a lot bigger than in the spring. So how, how have you evaluated his progress? You know, I think he's doing some nice things. I'd like to see him get more physical. He's gained the weight and everything. You look at the two touchdowns, and I look at the, maybe the one drop. So, you know, we got to be 100% there, but he's definitely improved. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.